Every Windows user has probably had a run-in with Windows Defender at least once. Whether it was against our will via a random system notification, or if you accidentally caught a Trojan horse on the internet and tried removing it, Windows Defender has always been there for us. So how well does it hold up in 2025? In today's Windows Defender review, I'll cover all of its important angles like features, ease of use, and even testing. Let's get into it. All right, so first off, there are some technical sounding names among the features I'll be discussing today, so bear with me with all the jargon. I'll do my best to translate things into basic language for us normal humans. Next, let's take a step back just for a moment and talk about how Windows Defender developed over the years. It began as a built-in standalone feature in Windows XP, but in the latest version of Windows 11, it's a member of the Windows Security app, a built-in security suite for your device. Defender is just part of that, and it is specifically responsible for the antivirus functionality. There are two versions of Defender, the one we just discussed and the paid version called Microsoft Defender. But honestly, it's not worth reviewing Microsoft Defender Antivirus since it's included in a paid Microsoft 365 package and focuses on online privacy. With that stuff out of the way, let's see just how well Windows Defender performs. Independent testing done by AV Comparatives shows that its offline performance in 2024 was 68.8%, although it did do better the year prior. If we compare these results with top tier antiviruses, we can see that providers like Total AV or Bitdefender scored way better, coming in at 90.3% and 94% respectively. The results were different for online testing though, where Windows Defender displayed better results, 95.8% in 2023 and 84.3% in 2024. If you ask me, it's kind of disturbing that Windows Defender's newer version is inferior to its old one, but Windows Defender results do tend to fluctuate like this quite a bit, which is not something you want from a tool designed to increase your safety. So those were the results of the independent testing orgs. But of course, at Cyber News, we like taking matters into our own hands and testing these tools ourselves. Our team conducted our own tests in which we planted 150 malware files of varying threat levels on a lab device and let Windows Defenders run. Then we repeated the same scenario with other antivirus providers to compare the results. One thing to note, we ran different tests with real-time protection both on and off in order to see how well the providers perform at removing already existing threats on your device. So how good is Windows Defender? Here are the results of all four tests that we ran with real-time protection disabled, starting with Windows Defender and ending with Total AV. Windows Defender with real-time protection disabled found 103 threats out of 150, which is a significant step up from 67 threats removed on Windows 10. However, providers like Bitdefender and Norton Antivirus displayed significantly better results, both with real-time protection on and off, although Bitdefender did take just under two hours to finish the scan. On the other hand, Norton scanned the device in just 22 minutes and blew Windows Defender out of the water with real-time protection enabled, standing out as a good middle ground between the providers. Overall, the results here aren't shocking. While Windows Defender has the upside of being free and natively integrated into the OS, its performance isn't as good as it could be. And it's been like this for years. It's a little perplexing how third-party providers like Bitdefender, TotalAV, or Norton could leave a mega corporation's integrated antivirus in the dust in its own environment. Of course, Windows Defender is still way better than no protection at all, and it does have features like firewall, which providers like TotalAV lack, but overall, it's still suboptimal. By the way, if you'd like to get superior protection with the best features, I left the best antivirus discounts in the description, so feel free to go grab one. Which brings us to the next part of this Windows Defender review, features. Windows Defender has several built-in tools, including app and browser control, firewall, and network protection. But let's start with the main one, virus and threat protection. There are options for full, quick, custom, and offline scans. Firing up any of these is really simple because the UI is easily accessible, so you won't have any issues at all if you do decide to use Windows Defender as your daily driver. Now, I wish this was true for the firewall and network settings, but oh man, even getting to these settings is confusing and tiresome because you got to navigate different pop-up windows. And once you finally find the firewall settings, the UI looks like something from the Windows XP era. 
That said, when it comes to functionality, the Windows Firewall is decent. You can choose different network rules and whitelist apps and files, among other options. It's just the UI that's inconvenient, which of course would affect your experience using any app. Thankfully, the user interface is modern when it comes to account protection and app and browser control features. These tools are significant reinforcements to protect your device from malicious activity or apps. Windows checks if there are any unrecognized applications on your device and then either attempts to remove them or pops up a notification to get your attention. And when it comes to the account protection, nothing super exciting. Here I can set up different sign-in options, like facial recognition. All in all, the Windows Security Suite offers a few basic security measures, along with a defender whose performance is subpar. The reality is, in this day and age, we all need many more tools to stay private and protected online. A password manager, VPN, and identity theft protection, among other security features, are all great tools that other best antivirus providers offer in their antivirus suites. Simply put, it's already industry standard to provide more than just simple malware protection. So the Windows Security Suite is a few steps behind. By the way, if you enjoyed this Windows Defender review, why not like the video and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. So what are my main takeaways and what is my opinion on Windows Defender? Well, for some users who are extremely careful online, Windows Defender may be a sufficient security solution for their devices. For others, not so much. If you find yourself sailing the torrenting oceans or working with payments or sensitive documents, investing in robust security is still a good idea. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.